City. Pepper and her family are going to Potato City. What is Potato City, Mummy? It's a theme park, Pepper, where the magic of vegetables never ends. It sounds a bit boring. It will be fun. Potato City, here we come. <laughs> Here we are. The family have arrived at a field of potatoes. Is this Potato City? It must be. And it looks like we picked the right day to visit. There are no crowds. Are you sure this is the right place, Daddy Pig? It just looks like a farmer's field to me. Excuse me, is this Potato City? No, that's Potato City. <laughs> it isn't quite what I was expecting. Fantastic! How many tickets? Two adults and two children, please, Miss Rabbit. Busy, isn't it? Busy? No. This is quiet for Potato City. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Peppa's friends have come to Potato City too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. And this is Mr Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow, learn how they keep us fit and healthy, and get shot into space by the Potato Rocket! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the potato rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear George. <coughs> Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. Just away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Ah! This is brilliant! <laughs> Everybody off! <laughs> Wasn't it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Dinosaur Garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> I like Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are playing at Danny Dog's house. I'm a sea captain sailing across the sea. We are jolly pirates. Shiver me timbers. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's the post. It is Mr Zebra, the postman. Hello, Mummy Dog. I've got a postcard for you. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Who is the postcard from, Mummy? It's from Captain Dog. Daddy! He's finished his sailing trip around the world and he's coming home. Ooh! How exciting! I wonder when he'll be back. Ahoy there, Mr Zebra. Ruff. Hello, Captain Dog. Hello! Daddy! Danny! Daddy! Danny! Daddy! Captain Dog is home from the sea. Mummy Dog, my sweetheart. How long are you home for, Daddy? Forever. I've decided my travelling days are over. I've been around the world and made me fortune. Ooh! And lost it again. Oh! And made it again. Hooray! Ah, I love to travel. But there's something I really miss when I'm away. What, Daddy? My darlings, of course! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hanging up my captain's hat for good. Let me tell you all about my travels. I've been away for a year and a day, sailing around the world. All the way around? Yes. What did you do at the bottom? Did you fall off? No. I held on tightly. Wow! What an adventure! It was. And I've brought back presents for all of you. Ooh! Presents! Here is a drum for Danny from a faraway jungle. Thank you, Daddy. Very good, Danny. I can bang it louder. Perhaps that's enough banging for now. And for all your friends, some seashells from a desert island. Ooh. If you hold them to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear the seaside. And for my darling mummy dog, a chest of gold and jewels. Oh, how lovely. That will come in handy. Ah, it's great to be home. <laughs> it is morning. Captain Dog is up early. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm checking the wind, Daddy. Why? Sailors always check the wind before they sail. But you're not a sailor anymore. Oh, yes. I did say that, didn't I? Do you miss the sea, Daddy? No, no, I don't miss the sea. But I do miss my boat. I've got a boat that Grandad Dog made for me. Aha! That's an exact copy of my boat. You could help me sail it. That sounds like fun! Pepper and her friends are at the duck pond. Ahoy there, shipmates! Room for another boat on the briny waters? Yes. Excellent. Danny, our boat needs a captain. It can't sail itself. Daddy? Will you be my boat's captain? I'd be delighted, Danny, if you'll be my first mate. Yes, please. Launch the boat. Aye, aye, captain. Wind is southwesterly. The waters are calm. My last adventure was sailing a boat around the world. My next adventure is sailing a boat across a duck pond. <laughs> Captain Dog likes sailing across duck ponds. Everyone likes sailing across duck ponds. <laughs> It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. 
Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's going to cost a lot of money to fix. Oh, dear. Where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump. My mummy. My, 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 my daddy. My daddy. My my daddy. My we need just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh, thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. <laughs> But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! <laughs> All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground! Oh, oh dear! Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane! There she goes! No, wait! That's Daddy Pig! Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig! Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped! She is going to rescue Daddy Pig! Oh. Got you! Oh, she's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Ho, ho, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! It is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No! It's a thing! Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang! A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow! Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. 
I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! The boomerang has flown all the way back to Pepper. What was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, oh, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this! Ooh! Ooh. It's good, it's good, it's a good throw! Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Oh, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Peppa. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. <laughs> Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. Long train journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. <laughs> Come too. It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the tree runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? 
Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, but da 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 It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the trying journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Pedro's cough. It is a school day. Pepper and her friends are having a music lesson. Ooh, Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <coughs> oh dear, Pedro has a cough. Not to worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know. But it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew, it 
tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. Uh, it tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper, I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Pepper. Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 oh dear, all the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough Dr Brown Bear speaking This is Peppa Pig, <coughs> all the grown-ups are ill Not to worry Peppa, I'm on my way <coughs> Hello everyone, caught Pedro's cough have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well Stand in line and open wide. It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh. <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks. <laughs> And here's a song to make you feel better. Delphine Donkey. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Monsieur Pig, come on, Talibou. Oh, something's wrong with the phone. You see? The phone's talking nonsense. Hello, comment allez-vous? Hello, monsieur. Est-ce que Delphine peut rester pour un jour? Oui. Elle vient juste de prendre le train. Au revoir. That was Monsieur Donkey. He was speaking French. Ah, I thought as much. <laughs> Mummy, what did Monsieur Donkey say? He asked if little Delphine Donkey could visit us. Oh, goody. Delphine Donkey is Peppa's very special friend from France. Delphine's coming to practice talking English with us. Hooray! We'd better hurry. Delphine's train is arriving any minute. Last stop, all change. That's Delphine's train. <laughs> Delphine! Bonjour. Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, bonjour. Bonjour, Mr. Donkey. My goodness! Is that huge case for Delphine? Yes. Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water... <coughs> oh. Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. 
Ask away. Our English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun. Oh. Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy, mummy, can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow. Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes. <coughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> <laughs>